What is going on draw to crew Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and in this drawing video I'm going to show you how to draw ghost face from the Scream franchise. In this channel, I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos of your favorite characters. So if you guys like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And also don't forget to hit that like button as well. We are continuing on with our Halloween character video series for this October and Ghostface is definitely a classic, which is weird to say because I was in my teens when this movie was out and I don't remember it being out so long ago but it has been quite a while so classic it is I guess I just feel really old saying that anyway you guys before you start make sure to read the description of this video there you'll find a list of my drawing tools that I use uh, some tips on how to succeed on your drawing also how to make tutorial suggestions and best of all a link to the coloring page that goes along with this tutorial video. Having said all of that, you guys grab your drawing tools. Let's get started drawing ghost face. All right, you guys, let's get started with our ghost face tutorial. We are going to be drawing full body and he's gonna be standing. So we've got our paper in portrait mode and let's go and get started with drawing the head first. I'm going to draw a circle up here at the top, kind of almost a little bit to the left of center here, just a little circle like this. I'm gonna start off with that. And then we're going to draw like a face, a head per se, okay? With that head, we're going to draw like the outline of a person and then we're going to cover him up with his, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like his costume, his cloak, I guess you could say. So here's the head and then here's the neck. Okay, we're going to draw his body just as a square, fairly not too, you know, not too bulky or anything. He's not exactly known for being a built, uh, well-built character. So it's pretty much like a normal sized, maybe even skinny guy. Okay. So this right here is a little bit more than a square. So here's the square extended a little bit longer going down. So that's going to be the torso. And as you guys can kind of see, I've got the shoulders here and I sort of get a little bit narrower as I go down to the waist. Okay. So here's the waist there. Now we're going to draw the feet. I guess you could kind of draw where the underwear would be first. It's going to draw that as a triangle there. And then imagine where the feet would be. And I'm going to make this guy kind of straddle a little bit. So he's got this one leg like this. And then the other leg is going to be, I'm going to bend this one slightly. So it's going to be like this and then down like this. Okay. So you guys can kind of see, now you don't have to put in a lot of detail in this. I'm going to start at the waist here and I'm just going to create like this loop for the thigh here and over here loop for this thigh. Draw all this really lightly you guys because we're going to be erasing all of this. It is going to be covered by the cloak. Okay. Here are the knees and then I'm just going to draw it really rough and I'm just drawing these two lines for the calf muscles here because it doesn't really matter how detailed you want it. You just want to make sure you got the height correct. Okay. You don't want to make your, uh, your character like a little too, too much body and too little legs, that kind of thing. So this is the point where you want to pay close attention to the proportions of it. And I've sort of made it so that the torso is a little bit more narrow. Like I usually tend to like my characters with longer torsos, but not this one. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. So there you go. And then I'm just going to draw like this kind of triangle here for the foot. Let me bring that up a little bit. And then on the other side, I'm going to draw this one pointing this way. That's going to be the other foot right there. Okay. There you go. So here we have a very roughed out idea of the pose that we want for ghost face. So here we go. I'm going to draw his head a little bit longer. I'm not drawing the mask yet, but imagine that the mask is going to be, or imagine that there's going to be a face behind the mask. Okay. There you go. Shoulders. I'm going to draw as circles. And for this one, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make his arm go like this and then like this, and then he's got his hand like this. Okay. So like he, he's got his elbow pointing outward and then the arm is foreshortened. So it looks short, but it's actually pointing kind of towards you like this. So it looks sh like my pencil here looks short, 
but it's actually because it's pointing towards you. And that's how I want that elbow to look. Okay, and then he's got this, and then he's gonna have his knife. Imagine his knife kind of going down like that, okay? We'll add details to that a little bit later on. For this one, now we've got this going like this. Okay, here's the elbow handle, or the arm, forearm, foreshortened again. And what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a diamond shape here, like this. I'm gonna draw the thumb right here. Let me zoom in slightly. Thumb there. There's one finger. I'm going to spread these fingers out. Two. Ring finger. And then the index finger is going to be right here. Okay, so that's where I want those fingers. Okay, it looks a little weird right now, you guys. But here is a rough outline of how we want the ghost face um, pose to be. All right, so now let's kind of start fleshing it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly erase all these guidelines that we did, especially for the legs. And what I want to keep are the outside, these outside lines. That's what I want to keep and the legs as well. But the inside of it, I'm going to, I'm going to pretty much erase. Keep this. And then what we're going to do also is we're going to kind of just flesh out the arms. So it goes like this. And then this one's going to be like this. Okay, so the wrist is going to go in like that. Okay, so there's that arm and then this arm. Okay, we're drawing. I'm not really going to bother drawing the bicep and the tricep. I'm not going to bother separating those or drawing details of them because it's, it's all covered. And try to make it. I actually made my shoulder stick out a little too much. So I'm going to fix it up a little bit. There you go. So here's his shoulder right there. Okay. And I'm kind of going to erase the inside there. And then on this side, right here. Okay. So it's going to look like that. Okay. There you go. And I'm also going to erase the inside of this. So you guys get a good outline now of how we want our figure to look just like that. Okay. So now, we're going to draw the cloak first and then we'll zoom in on the face. So what we want to do is we're going to do this like slightly baggy uh, outline of a cloak. And I'm going to, let me zoom in here first and I'll show you guys. So I'm, I'm starting with the armpit. I'm bringing it to the belt. So here's the belt area now. And as you move towards the belt area, it kind of bunches up here on the sides. And then it goes into the belt. And the belt is rounded like this. It's actually a string, I believe. And there's going to be a knot in the front. And then we're going to draw the string going down a little bit. But let's continue focusing on here. Okay, so now imagine that this cloak goes up like this and it's going to be baggy along the arms. So it's going to be, it's going to go down. And then here it's going to be baggy as well. Okay, um, but before anything, here's what I'm going to do. Where the wrist is, I'm going to bring two lines going down and that's going to be kind of like the, the armhole of the, uh, of the costume. So imagine the costume kind of goes like that. So imagine that this is all cloth. And if I erase this and this, then you guys can kind of see that the cloth is going down like this. All right. So that's sort of what I want, but I want it to be a little bit ripped. So I'm going to draw just these zigzag lines like this as well. Okay. There you go. So we're starting to shape the, uh, almost starting to shape the sleeves here. Okay. And then here I'm going to draw some folds as we go into the, this part here. And I'm going to draw some folds here where the, where it bends in the elbow like that. And then, this bunches up as it folds. Okay, here in the armpit, also some folds from the armpit, and then folds going down as well, like this. There you go. Um, ghost face wears a black glove. So here, I'm just going to shape this hand, but I'm not really going to add any details to it because it is all 
completely black. So I'm just going to shape it to the uh, proportionate shape of a, an adult hand like this, okay? Nothing more to it really, it's just a gloved, black gloved hand. All right, so now that we have this hand, let me actually, uh, he does have these things coming down from here, but we'll draw that last, okay? So let's worry about the other hand now. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm gonna draw the back of the hand first. So if I zoom in, here is our initial rectangle. I'm going to, I'm going to find the back of the hand right here. Okay, so you see that? That's going to act as the back of my hand. I'll draw this a little bit like this. So now you've kind of got an idea of where you want the fingers to go. Okay, so here's, here's our hand there. Divide that into four, one for each finger. And you also want to make sure that you've got like the fingers in there, uh, the shape of them and the size of them correct. So, you know, the pinky is supposed to be the smallest. So you want to keep that pinky small. So there you go. I've got, I've got uh, four fingers now and I'm just going to draw these lines right here to show that it is bent at that point. Okay. So now, We've got the fingers, we're going to run the knife along where the fingers are. So the, this is where my knife goes. So I'm changing the angle a little bit now, now that I've drawn the hand. Okay, that's going to be the center of my knife. Here, I don't remember what this part of the knife is called. If you guys, uh, the guard, I think, it keeps your fingers from getting to the sharp parts of, of the knife so that you're just holding the handle. So that's the guard. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then I'm going to even, uh, even lines from the center. Okay. This one longer than the other, slightly curved like this. Bring this this way now and goes up. So there's our knife. And then once you have the, the general shape of the knife, right? I'm going to draw this little sharp point right here. I'm just going to bring it in like that. Okay, and then the, uh, I guess you could say the design or little line in the knife right here. I'm going to draw a line from here, going all the way to the point right there. Okay, this goes down and then goes to the center right there. So there's my knife right there. And then the edge of it, I'm just going to show like that, the handle. Okay, so now let's draw the actual arm. So here again, I'm going to draw that V shape of the, of the sleeve or the, the hole coming down. That's gonna be our guideline. Okay, here at the wrist, we got the glove kind of folding so draw some fabric and then here's the forearm going into the armhole okay and then here i'm going to draw some zigzag lines again like rips and then the fabric covering the forearm here there you go i'm going to erase the inside so that you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, again, it's loose, it's baggy. So I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna bring it up to there. Erase that part, erase this part too. Okay, and then some folds up here. Okay, and then folds on this side as well. And from here, just folds going out that way and up as well. Okay, same thing here. There you go. So now we've got like a general idea of the sleeves and the body. 
And I guess, you know what, let's work on the iconic mask now. This is the very, I guess that's how you know that it's Ghostface, is that uh, iconic mask. Now he's got different versions of this mask, I guess, um, from the different movies. There's some slight variations, but for the most part, it's all very similar. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a hood around the head. And that's why we drew the head first, is because we want to draw uh, the shape of a human and we want to draw a hood around this shape. So I'm going to actually start on the inside of the head and I'm going to draw out like this hole. Imagine if like this head was uh, had a hood, um, part of it would actually be uh, covered and then let's draw the part that's exposed. So I'm gonna start at this point right here, it's slightly to the left of the center at the top. It goes this way and then down and then it goes underneath the chin like this, okay? okay? And then this one goes down to the side, okay? Like this, goes outside of the face and then to this point here. Okay, so now what this does is it shows you what's gonna be covered. So I'm gonna faintly draw or erase it for now. What's covered and, um, and what is exposed. So this part right here is gonna be covered and I'm going to draw another line above it, above the covered part of the head. Okay, so here's the head right here. A little bit of gap, draw it at the top, like that. This goes like this, and like this. Okay, and then a little bit of fabric going down right here as well. There you go. So now we've got this head that's in a hood. Now what we're going to do is draw the mask. Okay, so the mask is gonna go down. Um, let's draw the cheeks, or the cheek line is gonna be right here and the eye line is gonna be right around here, okay? So here are the eyes and then the cheeks are just below it, kind of where the nose is going to be. So here's the nose here is where we draw the eyes, right there, if it were a normal human. Now what I'm going to do is, if we have a general idea of where the nose and the eyes are, we can draw the face. Uh, we can draw the eye holes where those eyes are and the nose hole where that is, okay? And then what we're going to do is, from the cheek line, we're gonna draw this sharp drop going down up to here, okay, and then here going down like this. Of course, we all know what this is. This is part of that screaming mouth open look that uh, ghost face has. Okay, so there you go, try to keep it even. Okay, now let's draw the iconic look, the iconic face of ghost face. I'm gonna start with the nose. I'm gonna draw a curve like that. And it's gonna look like an upside down heart. Okay, so if I faintly erase those lines, Follow that curve and, and then right here is gonna be an upside down heart like this. And you can color that in. There. Now, let me bring that to the center here. We can draw some bean, bean-shaped eyes from here and here. And don't bring it down to the cheek line or the nose line, bring it about this far down. Okay, you want it to sort of follow each other like this making sure that they're um, the same, they're mirror image of each other, for the most part, okay? So I'm starting to shape the bottom here. This curve at the bottom is gonna be bigger than the curve at the top, so the curve at the top is gonna be tiny in comparison. So there you go. And then just curve it like this, with two beams. There you go, and you wanna make sure that they're the same size before you shade it in. There you go, and then you shade it in once you got it. There. Okay, and then you draw some lines from the hood going up like this. And then again here. Like that. And then draw some lines from here, which will act like cheekbones. This goes like this, and then goes up the side, beside the nose here, like that, okay? 
And then once you have that, you've got the eyes, you've got the nose. Now all you gotta do is the mouth, and the mouth starts right here. Okay, start with that curve there, and then the curve at the bottom is gonna be narrower, like that. And then bring this together, like an ice cream cone with ice cream at the top. There is ghost face, like that. Okay, so now you've got, you've got the mask. Add some outlines to the, to some details to the hood there. Seams, that kind of thing. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to draw the torso wrinkles. And these wrinkles on the torso, you know, I really should be erasing with this so that I'm, I don't have all those dark marks. But, you know, I have it now. All right, I'm going to have the wrinkle lines kind of converge at this point right here. So that's kind of what I want these wrinkles to do. So they're going to be pretty, pretty slanted going this way. Okay, and then like that. And then more here. So all these wrinkles, I'm also like reshaping the sides here to, to make it look like, you know, it's folding and you see part of the fold on the side as well. There you go. Now let's zoom out and let's draw the bottom part of that cloak costume, I guess. I don't, not exactly sure what to call it. Okay, here we've got two strings. So imagine he tied the string around his waist and that acts as a belt. Okay. Okay, so imagine like the Ninja Turtles or Ryu and Ken or any of the ninjas or anything like that. So it's got these two lines going down or these two strips of fabric going down. And I just drew a line going down the center here just to show that it's knotted at the top and then looser as you go down. Okay, there you go. So now what we're going to do is where the belt is, it's actually like pushed the fabric in and then past the belt it goes back out again like this okay so now we're going to kind of draw the outline of the uh, legs here on the outside and then here at the bottom now just imagine only the feet are showing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create these V shapes kind of very random And that's going to act as the bottom of his costume. Okay, so my V shapes that I drew here are very uneven. Well, they're kind of sort of aligned similarly, but they're not the exact shape as each other. There you go. See, I hope you guys can see how uneven that looks, all these V shapes that I created. Okay, so now that's the bottom of the um, cloak. Bring this up. Right here is where we have the knee. I'm gonna have another V shape coming out like this. Okay, and then on this side here, this is where I kind of want a fold. And then bring that down, have another V shape kind of sticking out the side here. There. Okay, and then now. Bring that up to the waist. Erase this and this, and you got yourself the bottom part of ghost face. And we're going to kind of continue the folds of the fabric going from here towards this knee. So it's almost as if this knee being bent is pulling the cloth. Like 
that, okay? And then I'm going to react. I'll draw these bumps on the side as well to show that the fabric is being folded on that side. So there you go, there's the fabric sort of reacting to the knee being bent. And then we got like this lines sort of just going like this, the fabric's stretching on this side now, going out like that. And then right here, I'm just gonna draw several lines going like this. And then from the top, kind of just going down. There you go. That's pretty much it. Now all we really have to do is draw the feet. And here we have, um, what are they like? More like boots, really. So what we're going to do is we're going to shape the boots out from that uh, initial uh, diamond or triangular shape that we drew earlier. What we're going to do is draw this going out and then down. Okay, and then this goes this way. Okay. Okay, there you go. So there's like the front of the boot here. There you go. You want to make sure that you don't draw the feet too big. Okay, this goes like this again. And then goes up like this. Okay, so that's the boot without the sole. Now let's draw the sole. Okay, so it goes like that. And then here. There you go. One side and the other side is going to be pointing this way. So let's just make it so that the boot, here's one side, kind of goes this way, right? There you go. Okay, and then the soles this time. There and there. So you notice that the heel is separate from the front sole. There you go. All right, so now let's, all we have to do is just draw the details of the shoes and then we're pretty much finished. Okay, so let's draw the details. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna bring that out like this. Okay, this is where the shoelaces are gonna be. So this goes in and then up right here. Okay, line across and then a bunch of X's to indicate the shoelaces kind of crossing each other that. Okay, and then where the shoelaces meet the shoes, draw these circles going all the way up. There you go. And then bring this now, bring this down. And then right here, up like that. Okay, here's the front of the boot right there. Okay, and then on this side, bring this like this. So that, that's the heel. Okay, and then this goes this way and then up like this. Line there. And then these, they're not really X's because you're only seeing half of the boot. When you see half of a shoelace, they look more like V's. Like that, and then circles here. Okay, and then just bring this down and there you go you got that boot right there okay now zooming out all right hey guys i almost completely forgot one thing i kind of had started inking it already and then i realized you know what there's one important part of this drawing that i kind of skipped and uh i meant for it to go all the way to the end of the of the video and then when the end of the video came i uh, kind of forgot about it so let's go back to it and that of course is like all the uh, little flaps that he's got going down. So um, very easy, really. I'm gonna bring that going down like this. Okay, line going down, goes up, down again. So you notice that I'm very do doing this in a zigzag style. I'll bring this up again, down, okay. I'll bring this up and down again. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of bringing it more and more towards the armpit, down and then up like this. So what it does is it creates like this flap that kind of goes down the arm like this. And as you draw that, 
um, I kind of reshape the bottom of the arm there to accommodate. There you go. So you see just a little outline of it, uh, at the bottom of the arm there, just a little outline, but for the most part, it all kind of goes down right there. Okay. So there's that one part. And then of course we do the same thing on the other side and I'm going to start right here, I'm bring it straight down, up and down again. All right. And bring this up, down and then go up like that. And then down again, up and then down and then towards the armpit like this. Okay. So there you go. There's that other, oh, loose parts of the of the uh the sleeve here and i'm going to erase this part now but i'm going to leave this part right here okay there you go so there you go you guys there's our 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 sleeve going down like this completely forgot to do it earlier good thing i remembered before I finish the video, but there you go. Thanks you guys for watching this video and I will catch you in my next Halloween tutorial. It's almost the end of October. So yeah, bear with me. Uh, we've got a few more days to go with our Halloween, um, Halloween theme here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of the pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe to all of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.